We're here at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. This is one of the premier resorts here in the Bahamas, and we've spent the last three days exploring the entire property. It's easy, honestly, to get lost here. It took us a full day to get the lay of the land. We have a few tips to share so you can maximize your stay here and have a blast in the Bahamas. Let's get started. Three, two, one, launch! The check-in experience was very seamless. They have a ton of staff here, but right when you get into the hotel, you get the big fish tank behind, which is really cool too. And we're only like 15 minutes from the airport, so everything's happening fast. Now time for a room tour. Coming in, you are welcomed by this huge, massive bathroom, walk-in shower with a bathtub. And then you come out to this main room and it is so open and bright feeling. They have the floating bed here with the bench, and they even have these doors so you can open and close them for the bathroom so you have a little bit of privacy, but you can also keep them open to just let the light flow all the way through the room into your bathtub. We're staying in an even numbered room, which means we're facing the ocean side, so keep that in mind when you're checking in. And we actually have a little mini Juliet balcony here so we can go outside, enjoy the air, and look out on the water. During this tour, we are also going to try and show you a few tips and tricks to enjoy the resort. And we have heard that it can be pretty expensive to stay here. And you know us, we like to save some money. So we're going to share a few tips with you to maybe save some money along the way if that's something you're interested in. Ooh, that was a good little bed test, it's pretty soft. Okay, a few tips for your room that you need to know. They do have a few free items. You get a couple water bottles each day and you also get a couple little coffee pods to make. But other than that, it's a little sparse on the amenities here. So a few things that you might find helpful. Number one is it's always recommended that before coming to Baja Mar, you do a grocery trip. Now you can do that once you get here. We actually walked and we kind of cut through the property it's about a 25 minute walk or so. Otherwise, you can actually schedule your taxi to stop there on the way. And so we stocked up on a lot of snacks, like sandwich stuff, and also we're able to stop at like the liquor store and get some drinks. So that's been really helpful to have just to save us a little bit of money. And we also grabbed some really big waters. And speaking of water, another quick water hack for you is we've always used this even at other properties. If you're ever really low on water and you need some, you can always pop into the gym and they almost always have a water refill station. So that can be benefit too. They do have a mini fridge here, but it's fully stocked and they don't provide you an extra mini fridge unless you actually order one and it's $50 for your stay, which isn't terribly unaffordable. We actually just got a little reusable insulated bag and we've just put ice in it and just used that to cool down some of our drinks. So that has worked well for us too and another pack that you might be able to utilize. If you are traveling with kids and like need a fridge for like milk or medicine or something like that, they will give it to you complimentary. That's just a brief glimpse of the room and some hopefully some tips that can help you out in your stay. Let's keep moving. Although it's not my favorite, if you do like to gamble or like casinos, there's a huge casino floor, tons of different options and games and tables and cards and slot machines and all the things. I'm really knowledgeable, you can't tell. I'm not really a gambler or a casino person, so the Grand Hyatt lobby is not really my vibe, but just next door in the SLS hotel, they have this beautiful lobby that is perfect for relaxing and hanging out. They do have a lot of shops in the area. A lot of these stores I don't even recognize. They've got a Cartier store coming, Tiffany and Company, all out of his price range for sure. <laughs> Our next tip on how to stay active while you're here is to take advantage of the beach. Obviously, you can go for a run, you can go for a swim. They also have the kayaks and paddle boards or you can come out to the front of the property and take advantage of some of their outdoor space like the croquet and bocce ball, basketball hoops behind me, and they even have tennis courts and pickleball courts, but you do have to pay by the hour for those and they have equipment that you can rent to feed it and bring any with you. Oh, and bonus, if you like to golf, there's also a golf course here. Let's go, I think, that's good. <laughs> I think you gotta make it through. Boom. There you go. 
One thing that's unfortunately not included in your resort fees is their little mini golf course, but it looks super fancy. They say it's like professional putting. It'll run you about 27 bucks a person for adults. I'm not a golfer. I do a little butt wiggle. Four. If this isn't already a part of your strategy, definitely recommend before you make any decisions about how your time's gonna be spent here, that you walk around the resort because we're still finding new things like three days into this. I think it really helps you to get a framework for where you wanna be, what you wanna do, what the spaces are like. Bonus, that's another way to stay active. I got 20,000 steps our first day here. Granted, we were walking around trying to see everything. Yesterday, it was like 18,000. So if you wanna walk, you can walk. We're kind of perched outside of a shop here and I didn't tell Rebecca this, but I went and looked inside and guess how much a little bottle of sunscreen costs, like a regular bottle. I mean, sometimes that's like 12 bucks, but I would say maybe like 15 here. $33 oh for a, a regular banana boat sunscreen. You're kidding, right? That's no. like Bahamian dollars? No, like real one-to-one -one US dollars. So. Make sure you don't forget anything. I feel like that's like the most important thing if you get it out of this video is pack your essentials. Most things here have a fee on top of whatever the charge even is. So we got drinks last night at the piano bar and you had the base price and then they charge like an extra $5 just for being at the piano bar and then a tip on top of that and tax. So just be prepared. What you see listed probably won't be your final price. And as long as you know that going in, you'll be okay. Although there are quite a few charges for different things, you do have a lot included with your resort fee that you pay for your room charge. So that's nice because you do get some free activities mixed in there. Free. <laughs> mixed in there. The grounds and property here are huge. It's easy, honestly, to get lost here. It took us a full day to get the lay of the land. Also, they maintain the property so well. Obviously, it's like a Caribbean area, but the plants and the fauna and the trees, it all feels really nice. How to maximize your time at the pool. Come here early. It's about 8 a.m., a little after 8 o'clock in the morning, and there's one other person in this entire pool area. There's tons of chairs available. You can grab your favorite spot, grab your shade or your sun, leave your towels. But don't be one of those people who leaves your towels and then disappears for like five hours. <laughs> This pool is one of the more unique areas of the resort and definitely a kid area. Not only do they have the big blue hole, which is like a giant diving platform for kids, but they also have this underwater cave under the waterfall and you get insight into the aquarium. Look how awesome it is. See all these fish and sharks and turtles. There are eight total pools here and really you can find anything that you need. They have several adult areas. They have several kids areas and tons of loungers and shade. It's been really nice. The next tip we have is if you're looking to enjoy some food and drinks, you should expect to pay a decent amount here by the pool. Now they have a lot of wait staff. There's tons of bars and restaurants and snack areas, but it's kind of like a free for all down here. You can bring your own bags, you can bring drinks and snacks and food. And I think as long as you're not super open about it, then they're not gonna give you a hard time. So do make sure that you bring your cup or tumbler or whatever your preferred container of choice is. Down here at the beach, there are so many lounge chairs to choose from and they also have umbrellas. And if you come in the off season, you can even snag a little cabana for free because they don't really care. But normally you'd probably have to pay for them. Admittedly, this is probably the least amount of time that we've ever spent on the beach at a beach resort just because there's so many fun things to do at the hotel itself. We've been in the water park at the pool enjoying some of those unique aspects that this place has to offer. There's also kayaks and paddle boards and water hammocks and different water sports activities that you can do that are included with your resort fee which is great for our ways to stay active and save money tip.
there are countless restaurants here and I say that because we literally don't know the number but there are many inside and they have anything from fine dining to casual eats it's really cool too because they also have a number of food trucks out here on the beach so that's another small tip for saving a little money is that the food out here it closes a little bit early but it's a great bite to eat when you're out during the day by the pool or near the water park they have some good options this is the Privilege Day Club, and we haven't actually been in here yet when there are more people, but the music has been bumping every time we've come by, so we might have to check it out for our last day. It looks like it's 18 and up. We're not really sure if it's just SLS Hotel guests, which is another hotel on property, or if anyone here at Baja Mar can access it. If you see footage of Kyle out in the pool dancing later, you know we have access with our uh, Grand Hyatt. We've made our way over to what I think is the highlight of Baja Mar, which is the Baja Bay Water Park. It is free with your resort fees that you pay for, and we booked on points and aren't actually paying resort fees, so we still get to come in for free. And there's so much to do here. It was a really easy walk. They have a direct entrance from the hotel straight to the park. You just scan your room wristband and you're good to go. They have a lot of fun things like this wave pool behind us. They've got a lazy river. They've got kids splash pads and a few different rides and slides that you can take. It's the perfect stop if you're here with your family, have some kids in their group, but even as adults, we're having a blast. Let's show you some of the rides. <laughs> Dang, that's fast. <laughs> They call this the active river, but it's just a lazy river and that's where the action's at. Enjoying ourselves, floating around the lazy river. Got him! Keeping in line with saving money here at Baja Mar, you can actually bring in kind of whatever you want as long as it's not glass. So it's great when you're here at the water park for the day to bring your own food and drink. They also do have lockers if you need them. We bought our dry bags, which has been helpful to carry our stuff around the whole time. And it's also nice that you have like unlimited re-entry. So you can come into the park, you can go back to lunch, you can go to your room, put the kids down for a nap and then come back anytime you want. <laughs> we have been here every single day. All right, we're gonna go enjoy a few more rides. the important part. To avoid the crowds here at Baja Bay, just come on a Monday in off season. It's September 4th today and we are walking straight up to the front of the line every time. They do have a weight check on the group ride. Good safety measure, I guess. We have had to rearrange once or twice, but these are the best ones. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, now it's time for the thrill rides of the water park. We've got the straight drop, and then we've got the like coffin tube that they close you in and the floor disappears below you. The long, ominous walk up. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
That's gonna wrap up our time here at Baja Mar, but we had an amazing stay and definitely enjoyed our time here at the resort. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. And if it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. See you on the next adventure.